have the other one that we're going to put on. We might have to make some changes on it. It's a, it's a warrant on a temporary moratorium on the construction of large-scale solar pro photolithic energy systems. Okay. And have a motion to we'll have that motion. Second. Any discussion on it? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so now we'll close the warrant. Okay, so... That, oh, these oh, are my yeah, copies. Both of your copies. Okay, my copies, then, sorry. Yes, yeah, she gave you, you gave some files a copy, didn't you? I didn't give him a copy of the solo one. I only brought one. No, that's, that's, no, no, that's, 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 that's fine. You gave us a copy now. So you went through all of those. Yeah. Like that, right? uh, went through, sorry. So I'd like to make a motion to close the annual town meeting room. Okay, so now what are these oh, two? Don't, we have those are, well, don't, don't we also need to go over the other warrants? Yes, we're, we're going to go over them. We have to... We have to, we just re reopened it to put those articles. Now we have to sh close the warrant and then we'll go in over the articles. We're going to review the, okay. the, the okay. articles that are going to go on to the town meeting. Okay, so now. Oh, I see. Okay, because yep. we, yeah, yeah, we, we have to open it to accept those and We have to open and close it to accept the ones that just came in late. Okay. And then, now we're going to go through and we're going to review the ones that are going to be on the warrant. Okay. Right. So now I have two. Oh. With street lights. Oh yeah, we did that one already. Okay, so it's in. Yep, All that right. one's in. And yeah, then this was the parking band. Park. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, park, park oh, the parking band. band. Oh, oh, I didn't, didn't see the other one. Felt it probably the confused because they were both look the same in the bylaws. Oh. Right. I don't have that. Okay. Okay. So here, here it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. This is the one. Okay. Now I feel better. On, okay. On the parking bylaw, there's another one. We want Oops. All right. So now this has what? This the difference with this one is because we already have this in already. This is to have the cost of the vehicle uh, have removal and storage charges, if any, shall be paid by the vehicle owners or owners to the person. This is what uh, the bylaw committee wants to add on to that. Okay. And. Uh, they want to be able to tow it. They want to be yeah, able they to were, tow They want to tow them right from the scene once they're yeah. uh, ticket. Mike said that the current bylaws don't allow the police department to tow the vehicle. Yeah. Right, and there is so, a bad actor, and I understand why mm -hmm. he's doing it. Okay. So, you want to put, do we want, yeah, and see, then we talked to uh, town council on it, and she said it's a pretty common bylaw. So we want to vote to put this on? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I vote? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. So now I... Now, sorry there's to, all, also another one. Do you have it? I'm, I'm looking at another package of stuff that was handed to me, and I'm just... We had the one to... Uh, it's another citizen's petition. Also, I know it's about trash. Yes. Yeah. I know about that Who's that one? That's probably in with, with the big fat packet that we have that you're going to review. So. Because they made it in during the open period. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why it's in there. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. I see, wait a second. Okay. Now, are they all in the paper, the paper clip didn't work. All right. Okay. So now that's why. All right. So now I'm, I'm feeling better now. All okay. right. So let's start okay. at the so top. So we're all set. So we're going to close. We're, we are going to close. You know, we're going to close the warrant for the annual town meeting. I'd like to, a motion for that. You have that motion? Second. And then I would, now uh, we're going to move on to 10, and we're going to remove, review the articles for the okay. annual and town meeting. That's in that big packet there. That's yeah. in our big packet right here. Right. Okay. I got it. Okay. All right, now, article one, that goes on every year. Yep. Two. Three, four, five, right? Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you happen to ask Mike about that other one? Uh, what one? Uh, what one are you referring to? Oh, it's not on here. Which one? Oh, he told me to take it off. Oh, yeah. we'll take it off. He said, you know, you just do that once. You don't do it every year. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. why it's off. Yeah. And do we want to include ten in, in with the box? I box? asked Mike that. He said no. Mike Siri said no. Leave it out like that. Okay. Okay, I'd like to uh, have a motion to place Article 1 through 9 on the town meeting board. Do you have that motion? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Then I would also like to have a, a motion to 
This is about uh, to raise a dollar to plow the private road. Would you like to have a motion to uh, put that on the annual? Do that motion. Second. So I'm looking at my new I just I, I penciled in just to keep them in order. You okay. can change them. It doesn't mean anything. It's just okay. for organization okay. purposes in reference. So uh, eleven. Okay. See at the top one. Yes, I can see that. Okay. All right, and the next one I'm to put on is to see if the uh, town will vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to lease certain real estate and improvements thereon, commonly known as 18 Common Street, Brookfield, for uh, such period of years upon such terms and conditions of the Board of Selectmen shall determine to be appropriate and to further to visit and appropriate transfer available funds or borrow the sum of $16,500 for the rent for the initial year of the said lease for the library building maintenance account and to further to authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into an option to purchase said property and to further authorize the Board of Selectmen to execute any and all documents to carry out the intent of this article and take any action relative to it. Motion to place. Oh no, it's already placed, so we're good. Well, yeah, I know. Very good. Uh, we want a motion to place. No, it's not place. It's it's to uh, put it on the warm. Okay, I thought everything yeah. that we were reviewing was already in essence on the warrant because it, it came is. in after. It is, right. but we want to. No, but not, not everything. No, we have we have to vote on each one of these okay. and decide whether or not we're going to put them on the warrant. Right, I'll second that. Yep. Any discussion on this? No. It's well, I know that um, there were, I saw some emails back and forth, there were a few problems with the leasing agreement. And um, Katie Klein from K&P Law, she had straightened them all out. Yep. And that's what's on the third. Right, so it's good to go. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now this is 12. This is another one. That's because of the Municipal Modernization Act. That's one that the town council wrote up as I guess oh. we have to do it in order to comply. <laughs> it's just as you see the statutory changes, statutory changes made by the MMA. So it says place. Okay. Yeah. Is that the oh, yeah. yeah, so I'll make the motion to place this. All right. So the tax okay. title thing at the bottom is someplace else? The sec it says uh, second you know, article. Yeah, we, we probably need to do both of those, Karen. Did yeah, you see the both second one? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. So that so what's gonna happen is we number that thirteen, we're gonna have to remember remember everything else. Well what's okay. the what's the last one? Yeah. Um, we don't know. Let's do fifty two. Let's call it fifty two then. 52. Last one is fifty one. Well, that's just okay. Yeah. Okay, so this will be third. This will be. Well, why don't we go ahead and renumber as we go? Actually, in okay. case there's something we don't. So this place. will be twelve, and this will be thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. Okay. Might, okay we'll, call we'll just 13. we'll just renumber because as we, we go. also have to add numbers to the ones that you just put on okay. today. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion to add Thank you for picking up on this. Article twelve and Article thirteen to the warrant. Do you have that motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we'll change this one to fourteen. So thirteen is going to be. 14. This is to see if the town will seek to purchase 4.36 acre lot plus or minus located at 14 Kimball Street for a sum not to exceed $35,000. Right. This is the conclusion yeah. of uh, the discussion with the Bennett sisters mm -hmm. that uh, what we were trying to do is to get some other land and so um, the town would be in possession of land on uh, good Molasses Hill, as well as 14 Kimball. And um, my commitment to them was that I would at least bring it forward as to whether or not the town want, wishes to purchase the 14 Kimball Street. Okay. And if they don't, they don't. If they do, they do. But I. I'll make a motion to put this on. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Yeah, I, I don't. 
believe that. I think we're we'll going to have to get up more when we do have it on. I think Al will have to get some more research on it because it has to have different things worded in there. Okay. On the property. Um, do you want me to work with Al to put together an information sheet about what that whole deal is for people at town meetings so that they can understand it better? I think it's going nowhere. I mean, if that's my personal feeling because what I was trying to convince them to do is to, to donate a portion of the property and pay them for a portion of the property and that's not the deal. It's, they want 35000 for it. Okay. Mm. So it's like There's that's not what I was thought thought we town. we could do. So I. Yeah. Would the well, would the woodlot still be part of that? No, it's not I, part of it. Oh. They're, they're looking sure, to yeah, give that to wildlife uh, or be paid for it from wildlife. Oh, okay. All right. The next one is number fifteen. It's to accept a job description for a grant writer, facilitate a job description. This is just a draft of it. Yep. And I'd like to make a motion to put this on. You have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And the next one will be 16. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, to vote to amend Chapter 15 of the Personnel Bylaws, Section 2, Mandatory Classification, to include the position of Principal Assessor. Uh, the reason is with the, a, the permanent assessor of a working board of assessors, the position assistant assessor no longer exists. The new designation more accurately reflects the full-time department head title position in the assessor's office. Yep. And this article would not result in any change of any hour or wages. Right. And you have a motion have to, a motion? to place. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're at 16. Now we're moving on to 17. See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money to support the Commonwealth of Massachusetts mandated software conversion uh, to be completed by the assessing department. And this was sponsored by the assessor. Motion to place. Second that. Um, just a quick discussion. Is there a reason why they didn't just do a, a line item in the operating budget? That was separate for the conversion and chose to do a Warren article instead? Yeah, Alan talked to me about this. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he mentioned it. In the he was in this could do it either way, so that's fine. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that's 17. Now this is going to change. This will be 18. All right. Yeah. Okay, now this one is. I'm going to change that part to one that has to Oh, this is for the, this is for the, um, okay. This is for the solar pilot, the article. Town Council read that up to us. And she put them both into the one article. Yeah. Motion to place them. Second. All in favor? Any discussion before we do it? All in favor? Aye. Aye. This is now going for 19. To see if the town will vote to raise. Uh, the sum of 25000 for the installation of the upgrade snow cleats guards above the entrance way at the town hall or take any action related to that, too. This is the sponsoring is uh, William Simpson for the town hall improvement committee. Right. He said the quote is for a partial snow cleat and ice break system for critical areas of the town hall above areas where snow and ice fall has been a potential hazard. Motion in place. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That was 19. 20. Oh, God. See if the town will vote to raise appropriate or transfer a sum of money of 60000 to purchase the installation of a platform lift for the access to the second floor. Motion to place. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. One thing I would recommend is just to, to change, though, the wording to from $60,000 to a sum of money and then have the motion be. Yes. Because originally, I think the estimate was closer to sixty-five, and I just want to make sure we vet the numbers. Okay. All right. We just put a sum of money. Yeah. All right. So Cindy wants all of these placed now. 
Well, they're all going to, listen, they were always all going to be placed, I believe, it's just that when you asked her just for your own. Yeah, <laughs> what, what was do, more important to right. do a yeah. prioritize list, that's so what we'll she did. We'll if she decides to pass over, that's fine. But as of now, I think you should put them all on okay. because she's not, so, you're not so taking the prioritize list off the board. What? The first one is already on for uh, Article 10. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. so, so yeah. Yeah. So we put that on for her anyway, so let's remark everything else, take that off. So, so we're back to... So guess what, we're back to, back <laughs> Being to where we were in the beginning. Oh, thank you, right. Miss Eagle Eye. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's already on. Okay, then this one, this one, the next one, she says, this is very most important. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 46000 to fund the road construction and reconstruction account. Place have a motion. You have a motion. Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next one is. Um, um, can we, I know we've already voted it, and I do support it. But um, would everybody be okay if I have a discussion with Herb about what is in the plan, since it's greater than the amount that he originally gave to the Capital Improvement Planning Committee to see what projects are driving that uh, additional amount? And then just to validate within yeah. the the five year plan <clears throat> for that. Yeah, there was a list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So there was something that I can't yeah. remember she, what it was. Because it was thirty five before. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. thirty five. Yeah. It was, and, and yeah. there's and there's probably a perfectly legitimate reason, but I just want to yeah. make sure that we understand it, and then that way I can also share it with the capital improvement committee. Sam Brooke. Oh, okay. I think yes, but confirm that. Okay, now she has pass over here. Does she want us to put this one on? Again, these is, this is what she submitted okay. before April 30th, but then when you asked her for your own use to yeah. prioritize the list, yeah. okay. that's how she prioritized it. But basically, I would say put it all okay, on. Okay, we'll put it on. If we want to pass over, we can, or whatever. I well, just don't want okay. it. This will be 20. The money's there. 23, she would like, this is to uh, appropriate the sum of uh, 7,500. For central line painting of the town road, we're absolutely going to do that. Yeah, yeah. I think what it was is when you thought maybe the financials wouldn't be done or might not be yeah, done, maybe that's why she prioritized it. Okay, so request, like, a mo like a motion. It's there. Yeah. Second. Yeah, the motion. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And this is another one to um, to transfer. Uh, $2,750 from the general fund to the fleet repair and replacement account. And this was uh, money that was obtained from the sale of the 1980 Mack truck. Sounds like we should do it. Motion. Motion? You have that motion. Okay. Um, do you have a I'll second it for discussion. Okay. I just want to make certain we check with the uh, town accountant because I think transferring from the general fund is a bit of a misnomer. Yeah, so, it's really not the general fund. Because in essence, those yeah. funds that we got that year will come back in free cash. So in yeah. essence, we would either be transferring it from the prior year's free cash or um, if there was some residual from some yeah. other account that, that could yeah. be accounted for that. She's way. got um, so just four any, from Iran here from the general so, fund. So I would just like some input from Carrie before we formalize the language about oh, what the sure. appropriate yeah. verbiage would be yeah. and, and how we would do that. You want, I'll check with Karen. Yeah, just the article, so I'll check okay. yeah. with Karen will check with Okay. That'd be okay. great. Okay, so do we want to, we'll put this one on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I mean, yeah. conceptually I support okay. it, but I, I don't, I think the verbiage is going to be problematic. So. Okay, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and the next one is to uh, the same thing. It's $18,724.72. They would like to put that into the fleet repair and replacement account. And this was a reimbursement from the FEMA blizzard back in 2015. Fine. Motion? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And now this is another one, the same thing, $4,900 uh, to go to the fleet repair replacement account. Uh, this was uh, for the receiving the sale of the 97 Ford. Motion to place. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next one is to see if uh, we will, this is to purchase a generator for the sum of 
I don't know, we want to put the sum in there in case it, it differs. Again, we would a sum raise money. appropriate a sum of money. Yeah, sum of money. That's not how we usually write them anyway. We put the sum in the information. A sum of make money. It a sum of money yeah, to yeah, purchase the generator for the highway garage. Do I have a second on that? Yes. Okay. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and this is another one to uh, transfer into the fleet repair replacement. It's uh, $326.78, and this was received from scrap metal. Motion to place. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Oh, here's some more from the highway. Okay. So now we have to put money. Oh no, this is to um, transfer $139.84 from the general fund to the highway expense account. Or take any. Now this should be, I wonder if this is one that should be on a special. Is this something that it's like a cleanup that she wants to do? I don't know, but I know she's pretty knowledgeable of this, between the special and the annual. She stuck it on the but annual. But a lot of times, okay, though, I don't out. know. See if and then this I'll find out. Well, motion to place and then. It will place, and if we have to pass it over, we will. Yeah. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and then this is another one uh, to transfer. Thirty-seven hundred dollars into the um, to the fleet repair account. This was uh, for the sale of the 1977 map. Motion to place. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, who would be the authority on whether it should go on annual or special? Like, would that be Carrie or would that be Mike? Not Mike. No, that Mike has it. That would be Carrie. Okay. Yeah. And and that's an odd one. It, it is because usually this is yeah. You know, why would they want to do this? Because that money is going to, yeah. I think I I, I, I I honestly question placing that one at all. I'd, I'd almost like to revisit that vote. I'm I I'm, I think we should talk to her about whether this should Leave go into the special. Leave it. In. Leave it, in. You Leave it in. Over next Ask week. the question. We do it okay. next week. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. we're down to number thirty. And this is an, another one. Oh, this is the transfer. Uh, $2,930 to the road reconstruction account. This is a reimbursement from the Division of Ecological Restoration for surveying of the Rice Connor Road culvert. Motion to place. Second. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 The good news is all this money is coming into the yeah. coffers. This is great. This is good. Okay, this is to see if the town will, pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 82A, Section 2, vote to designate the Highway Department as the town's office to issue permits for the purpose of creating a trench, mm -hmm. as that term is defined by Mass General Law C82A, Section 4, and 520. What's that for? She said the circle. It's, well, the. Yeah, it's for CMR 14. Oh, C CMR 14. And she said this is important that this go on. Too. Right, because this is OSHA stuff. OSHA stuff, okay. Yeah, and managing it uh, so that they, it's clear. Uh, yes, you, you have a motion one? to place. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. And can we have a discussion? Could you? Yeah, and, and what it does is it, so that there's no confusion if someone is digging a trench, that they have to get it signed off okay. by the highway department to make sure that it's safe. Is highway department in essence the correct department versus yep. like the building inspector? I would say in trenches it's, it would be it, it would be, be highway. highway. Hi. Okay. okay. All in favor of placing this on? Aye. Aye. Okay. This is two from the cemetery. See if that we you know, will borrow a sum of money to repay three roads at the Brookfield Cemetery. He's got a little cost, I and mean, we can put in the sum, but he's, he says it's going to cost twenty-five thousand to do it. And then thirty-three, he to borrow also to pour a concrete pad at the Brookfield Transfer Station, which is will cost. Oh, I'm sorry. So we, we, to help. Yeah. 
This is from the cemetery, so do we, uh, we want to take a vote to place this? Motion to place, yeah. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And now this is from the Board of Health. Uh, it's a sum of money to pour a concrete clad pad at the Brookfield Transfer Station. Motion to pass. Uh, All in favor? Aye. 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 And that's, that's going to be 10600 Okay, this is one from the police chief, Mike Blanchard. Um, he, he would like to have 46000 for the purchase of a new cruiser, and this would increase the fleet to four vehicles, providing less I can't wear, and tear. wear and tear on vehicles and providing longer life for the cruisers. Now, is this something that we could probably... Because we haven't um, trans put the new name on the fleet repair reconflict, so that could be something that we could take out of that eighty nine thousand. Makes sense. Yeah, I think that's where it would come from. And if I looked at capital improvement, they've agreed mm -hmm. to a vehicle. So the uh, original capital plan was to do a cruiser this year. Right. So. Okay. So motion to place. to place it on. I'll second. All, 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 I mean, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. Now this is another one from the chief. Uh, 19000 will probably would be a sum of money to the police department for the purchase of cruiser radios, three portable radios. This was asked for at the June 27th annual town meeting was passed over. It needs to be a state mandated replacement of the radio system. Sorry. I'd like a motion to replace this on. Motion to place. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Alrighty. This is another, okay. It's another uh, citizen's uh, petition here. And this is uh, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate a sum of money to place a sidewalk at the start of Lake Road to White's Landing on the north side of the road. Motion to place. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, this is another one. We have a citizen's petition. Okay, to see if the town will aggressively enforce the littering and trash disposal laws by ticketing as prescribed under Mass General Law for Title I, Chapter 270, Section 16. This ticket can be criminal or civil. A ticket from the district court is payable within 21 days. So we want, we'll pass this one also? Yeah. Put this on. We I'll vote, put I'll vote on. to places. Yeah. 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 All, in, place. all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and then we have articles. This is, okay, now this is from the uh, request from the planning Capital Improvement Planning Committee. To see if the town will approve the capital improvement plan for FY 19 through FY 24 with a proviso that individual capital items included in the plan shall be submitted by the appropriate department head and committee for town meeting approval or consideration. <coughs> so do we want to make a motion to put this on? Put it on, but it's to pass over because that's what we talked about earlier. Okay. So do we want to even put it on then? I think so. We because still it, want to put it on. And yeah. The, and the reason I think we do is that we can communicate that we are in fact doing what we're doing. Yeah, that we have a draft, okay. but that okay. that due to some of the last minute changes. Okay. And then the other one is to put a sum of money from free cash to the stabilization. Let's, let's renumber that one to towards the very end of the annual town meeting. So that one should be like fifty two. Just yeah, that that one. Just put that on. Usually, it's the last. It's one. either the last one or the okay. second yeah. to last one. All right, so let's. All right, so you want to make that fifty-two? Well, it's going to be even. More. Whatever the last one Whatever is. Whatever the last one. How many, how many did you put on? Five that we. How many did you put on? We've put them on all. We've put thirty-nine of them on. Thirty-eight of them on so far. Oh, okay. Well, no, plus you, you, plus yeah, these other ones. So I mean, so, so let's. Do you want to? Uh, Number these yeah, ones? Yeah, let's number those. Okay, so let's make this. Uh, you have my coffee, so I'll just number them. Uh, yeah. If you want to make the marijuana 139. Okay, one well, minute, let me get to the. Well, no, let's, why don't you do them? Really? Why don't you just go put them at the tail end of. Yeah, put them at the tail end. No, yeah, you'll put them at the tail end. Okay, well, let's make this, this 39, the very last one. 
So call it 52, the marijuana one. Okay. Wait a minute now, we Make don't sure have, have them in order. this one, we're putting it on. But I tell you, what, why don't we do those numbers when we get there? Oh, yeah, let's, when we get let's, there. Let's, get, let's just right. get, let's procedure, mm -hmm. let's just get through this, let's yeah. understand that. So do you want to keep this, do you want to keep this thing in, we'll just remember it at the end, or yes. you want to? Yeah, we'll just put it on at the end, because it usually goes at the yeah, end. Don't leave, let's take don't 39 leave off now. Right, yeah, okay. exactly. 39 yeah. is coming, 39 is, this one's coming The number's coming on. Side, okay. And 39 is going to be this one here that is um, currently 40. Yeah. 39. Yeah, what is this one? The one from the bylaw committee. Same time. All right. So I'm getting confusing. I can tell. Recall of town officers. Oh, and what is the change? Let's see. Oh, we don't currently we don't currently have any bylaw that. Yes, we do have a recall. Applies to that. A recall. We have a recall. It was a special. I don't think it's in with the bylaws. It was a special petition that happened back in the 90s. They petitioned the legislature. Right. There's. Yeah. You have to. The way it is, because we don't have a bylaw, we would have to petition the legislature for any type of recall by adopting a local. But rule. we do have one, Beth. We have a recall. We do. Yes, we do in the community because we had recall election. It's not in our current actual bylaws. It's it, there's a procedure that's allowed under Mass General Law. It's a, we have it because we've used it. Yeah. yeah, you want to look real quick? Because I remember they had it was it was it was back in the '90s. No, I'm sorry, it was back in the '80s. They had to petition the. Um, the legislature to do it. Right, because if you don't have a local bylaw, then you hmm. then you can petition the legislature yeah, to do have, a yeah, special. Yeah, we didn't have one. What Mr. Cook is and the bylaw committee is is proposing is that we adopt a local law so that a, a petition to the state is not required. For a, what? For a petition? So so we would not have to petition the state legislature. Oh, we don't have to petition them because we we've used it. We already have it in place. Okay, so it needs to. We got to. What what is his change? He's got here. Let's see. Do you want to change the whole thing around? Uh, right here it says here right in the bottom. 1984 Home Rule Legislature adopted by the General Court and ratified by Brookfield voters at a town meeting in 1984 on the 1984 ballot. It was under Mass General Laws Chapter 99. It's got it right here on the bottom. So what is he adding? So, but we never adopted it as a bylaw. It was ratified at town meeting, and we. And an election. And, and, and an election. election. So it is. We do have it in place. But it's not printed in the bylaws. Bylaws, So yeah. this is printing it he in the bylaws. Here, no. Okay. Yeah, so. But let me see what the difference is. Let me know. before we, I mean, we can place it, but I think we have to look at the, uh, the one that we already have to see what he has changed for wording in this. So we'll refer it to council? Mm. So we, uh, well, we, we can get it, we can get it out ourselves. We can oh, get okay. it from Mike. All right. Because oh, okay. it's in the file. Okay. All right. And see so, what the change so is. So motion to place and I'll research, research to we'll Mike. Research it. Could you, uh, Get it out, and I can go over it and see what the difference is. I should get it from my well, Mike, well, Mike's not going to be in the Lanny Band farm. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, Lanny. Yeah, so this it's a whole it's a whole folder on this. Okay. So he can have Lanny. Um, 
pull it. And then I'll give you. Phone, so should, should you call and I'll review it and see what the difference is. Okay. Okay, now this is another one. Uh, to adopt uh, chapter 2, section 22 of the town bylaws is reads as follows. It's prior to setting the tax rate, the town must hold a town meeting for the citizens to consider an article on the amount of free cash to be used. We already... Can, can I make a suggestion procedurally and for the sake of the town meeting? Um, I know we were numbering as we went, but I'd recommend that we put the money articles up front. Oh, yeah. Okay, because we've got all of these and we're starting to number them in there and people are going to be exhausted. And, and yeah, again, that's what I said from okay. the it's just, This was just to organize it as they came in. Okay. So what we'll do yes, is that's we usually we do try to yeah. put the light ones together. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll happen. Just as long as we get down to have what we're going to have, then I'll be well, okay. We always, he wants this to be made a bylaw. Yes. Put this on. So I, because we already have something on, we we put it on every year. But he thinks it's we should have a, a special town meeting. That's what he's calling for. The way I'm reading it. That's what I'm reading. That he wants a, a another town meeting before the tax rate to put the free cash on to reduce the tax rate, not have it on the annual. So do we want to put this one on? How much does it cost to hold the town meeting? Well, you have to, you have to have a voter registration session to, that goes on all day and you have to pay your registrar and people. I think we should refer it to Al. Put, replace it, but we refer it to Al for comment. Okay. Could I have a motion? Yeah, you have place. a motion to place I'll with second. recommendation from the assessor's office. All in favor? Aye. 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 This is another one. This seems to be a duplicate of the other recall one. To see if the town would vote to have it. Amend. Amend a home rule petition by the state. Oh, what he wants to do is it's 20, you need 20% 20 of vote of the registered voters to oh, That's why he wants to have it down to 10. 10 okay, so, so it's two separate items. One is to, to formally adopt yeah. it as a bylaw, and the second one is to lower the threshold. Yeah, he wants to lower it to 10. 10%. Well, I know when they had it once before, when we had this, it, it, they didn't have any problem with the 20% of registered voting. <laughs> it's a motion to place. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. And then we'll have the debate. Uh, yeah. Why? Uh, that's 21. But we should put the two of them together. Yeah, these two should go together. I believe the other one. Well, they will. And they, they will. Leave it like this one okay. and then I'll put yep. them together. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we want to, uh, we're going to vote. Do I have a second? Yeah, on yeah you have a second. second. We've said pass. Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. This is another one. Just got blown. A new bylaw, which will become section 20 of chapter 2, if adopted, reads any new fee for town services. This is, this is by, you have to do this anyway, and it's under max general law. So I don't know why he wants to do it. Well, no, that's not necessarily... No, he's saying town meeting. Yeah, he's saying that town meeting would have to vote it yes, currently. Yes, we, we always do that. If you go up on any kind of a fee, it has to be approved at town meeting. Uh, I don't believe so. Not at all. Um, there's yeah. been a number of debates about changing fees, so long as it's not when something I that's... Up, I, I remember when I first came on as town clerk, I went up on the fees, and I had to get approval at town meeting. And I remember also a few years back... Um, the fees that were late for excise tax bills, we had to get that approved at town meeting. So there's, there's, if we talk about a fee for trash bags, 
trash bags. Trash bags. Talking about too. Yeah, but tr trash bags fees have changed. The the dump sticker fee has actually changed, changed. without going to town meeting. I mean, that all oh, kinds right. of fees have changed without going to town meeting. That's actually, I mean, I th and that's what I'm trying to scan through for right now is the fact that uh, yeah, I think it may be specifically under the selectman bylaw uh, or town officer bylaw from a standpoint of. Uh, like, for example, Section 3 of our bylaw, which is not mentioned in this, which would have to be rescinded, is a selectman shall authorize to appoint a wiring inspector for the town to establish a fee schedule for said, said services. So there it's the selectman who set the fees. Um, but a I, lot of different fees I know have been accepted at town meeting. So that may have been you know, kind of a political move for selectmen who didn't want to take the heat for, for changing any of the fees? Frankly? I would say that this is not clear enough. I, I don't think it's clear enough either. Because we have fees that have moved and we have fees that are scheduled and things move. So it needs to be very clear as to what fees. So why don't we refer this back to yeah. the yep. bylaw committee? Mm -hmm. So you're not going to place not it. Not going to place it. No, uh -huh. so that's the not going to place it. Place. No. I think they've got. If they want to put, I feel if they want to put on different ones, I think they should be here to explain them out more because they're not really giving any explanation on why they want to do this. That one for sure. Okay. Now this is another one. Well, you know, one thing that we do need to address with regards to. Oh, no, never mind. I was afraid that I'd run across something that would give us a problem on the trench one, but, but it's not. It's for only on park, public okay. property. This is now another one he wants to put on to change it so we can have a town meeting on the second Wednesday in June. So do you want to change this next one to 40? What do you want to do? you want to change the... Well, change... If you're not going to, or you, well, I guess well, you're going to clarify, so we have to keep it as that in case he clarifies and you decide to put right. it on. So, do we want to put this one on? It is so hard. This is. Sh it is. It's hard to know what night actually to have the town meeting. And if we want to have it on the second Wednesday, because you know, a lot of times if you don't have all your figures in and everything. Well, and it's saying Wednesday, we've been traditionally doing Friday. Fridays. And then we've mm -hmm. talked about putting it on other nights, and nobody really knows what is the right night to put it on. As much as I don't like burning a Friday night at a town meeting, it's at least where you don't have to get to work the next day. Yeah, it encourages participation from people other than those that, that you know. We used to, I remember years ago, we used to have town... Uh, say a special on a Tuesday evening. <laughs> we we're lucky if we got the quorum. Mm -hmm. I, didn't get, I used to go outside and ask go people to come in one. because you have to have a quorum of 30. <laughs> so we place, but we need logic for why it's yes. the Wednesday. Okay. We need some. So if you yeah, want to contact, contact him on that one yep. too? Yeah. What, what causes Wednesdays. Yeah, why, why he wants a Wednesday. He should have been here to explain these so that we would have better knowledge of these. Yep. Okay. Now, this is one from the fire department. It's to raise a sum of money for air bottles and protect clothing. And it says these items have a finitive lifespan and they are yep. items that need to be replaced. No, it's an every year thing. Yes, what is that, number 44? No, you have 45. 45. You have 45. 45. Okay, but it's 44. It's 44. Yeah, but we were going to change them because remember we were going to put the money articles together? Right. And the ones that aren't money articles. I just want to keep track of where yeah. we are now. Well, okay. Have this. I have 45. I have 44. So you have that. It says 45. It says 45. Right. 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 It says 45. But I would say 44 because we kicked back. Right. right. So uh, this is 44. Okay, yeah, 44. Okay, thank you. Yep, so okay. place 44. Place, motion to place volume four? Yep, you have it. I'll second. Do yep. uh, you have any discussion on it? I do. I want to, uh, does anybody mind if I reach out to him about why the amount shifted 5K from what he covered with the CIPC? Oh, yeah. Well, I think the next, add a question to the next one, too. 
Yep. So. Okay. Just is everybody comfortable if I yep. find out why the changes sure. in some of those oh, articles? Sure. All right. No problem. Right. And so what's capital got for the menus? Capital had 10K for the air tanks. I mean, it's it's phrased as a sum of money, so the 15 is a reference number. Yeah. Yep. So I just want to understand what we're asking for and, and why. Yep. So we're going to place this one on? Yep. Okay. Yep. I, would, I would support that. Okay. Yes. Now this is another one. This is another one, too. The um, replacement sum of money to purchase or make improvements to fire vehicles. This is also in the fire department. He said the age for replacement is 25 years, and Brookfield operates at three vehicles with engine one is 31 years old, engine three is 35, and Forest Free is 32. And he's got the minimum target. Do you have anything on the capital improvement on so this? So we only had 250 on the plan for this, because he was we? only asking for the first truck. Actually, no, I, I correct myself. Um, there was one of the, the trucks was on there, and then the brush truck was also on here. Now, was this one of those wish list articles, we think? From I think perhaps it's Started at least, that way. I think it may also be kind of a, an aware, the intent with that text is to raise everybody's awareness that the, that the fire department is not necessarily operating with modern equipment. So the, the first truck, uh, I don't know which one the original capital request was to replace, whether it was engine one or engine three. I believe it's engine one because that one is younger, but it has the unsafe cab on it. It's mm -hmm. got the, yeah, uh, the open, open cab. The open cab. Okay. Um, so what's and the then the brush truck is also mentioned on the um, on the capital plan, but it was not in this year. It was actually in I think the following year. So what do they so have? On, what's he? What do the capital improvement have? For just one. For they had. Year? They had one. Well, they had the. Um, larger trucks starting actually the the loan starting next year okay. but that could have been voted this year and then the first payment being the following year so I'm not certain if they expected to place that one or not so we'll have to if you want to so we want to place, we'll place the, it and we want to match up with what capital improvement recommends yeah right so they were recommending 20,000 a year but they were recommending it start in FY 20 so were they so they actually weren't approving that we put it on these blocks? I don't think they were expecting it to go on this year, but they did have the and they have the brush truck on for next year as well. We could always put you know, vote to place it, no, we could always pull it. I think what we do is we place it because I think the need is there and it was on yeah. the last right. um, it was on the last one. I think I don't know if the, if this if all three of them were on no, the last one. No, but right. one was. One one, was? one fire truck was. We'll talk to the capital improvement and see what they want to do. Then, then we can always, you know, reward it that night. Are exactly. we going to want to pass yeah, so over? We'll place it or not? Yeah, we'll yes. place, we'll place it. Okay, again, mm -hmm. I'm making this 45. I want to make sure we're all in tune with this, okay? Yep. So we don't end up with an automatic. So this is 45. Right. All right, and then 46 is going to be the 9,400. Okay, now this is yeah. another one from the fire department. Uh, to purchase thermal images. I thought we, for the fire department, didn't we purchase some of those no. already? No. No, it was on the last one yeah. and we deferred oh, okay. it to this year. So we should place. Yeah, we should place this. Okay. Um, motion to place. Motion to place. You have it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. See if the town, this is another one from the fire department. Ah, oh, to borrow for fire station repairs. He said the electrical system needs significant work. This was put off from the 2017 annual town meeting. Didn't he have some work done over there by the, by the school? I don't know. Or was that when they put yeah, the roof on? I think we're on last yeah. We could probably place it. And we could probably it. place it and discuss it. Yeah. Maybe have Tan Pastel come down. Through. Right, because he, he put twice as much as what he had on the yeah. last time. Okay, vote to place this. Yep. Not in motion. Yep. All in favor. Aye. 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 Are you going to ask him about? Do you want to ask him? About uh, I'm going to ask him about all of okay. this. Okay. Okay. Forty-eight. Okay, forty-eight. This is to purchase the machine to launch a firefighter's protective clothing. 
That seems quite a bit. Do we want to talk to him about this too? Yeah, I'd say we pl place it and get some we'll additional place it, We'll get some more information on it. Do I have a motion to place it? Yeah, I have a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Four to nine. Okay. These are from Donna that she does every year. Okay. This is the one that, yeah, Donna does these every year. So, a motion to place 49. Place. All in favor. Second. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. And the same thing as to on 50? Yep. It's second. Motion one. to place. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, this is another one. We have, we have the top part of it all done up. But um, he would like, to, um, the bylaw committee would like to add the last paragraph to it. I don't know what I'm, I'm lost. I don't, I don't know what I'm lost. Annual town on. Yeah, we've run out. Oh. We need that now. Oh, okay, here. Here's a, the copy. Let's see if there's another copy of that here. I don't know. Where did that come from? What is that? Oh, that's the same one as the towing one. The towing one. Oh. Is that an extra one? Yeah, it's an extra yeah. copy of it. I don't know. Oh. The packet's missing. I don't know, so it's probably flying around here somewhere. I'm going to okay. go by yours window. Okay. Okay, so now now we'll have... All right, so now you have to number add yeah. the ones that you... Okay, that so, so this is just uh, 50, so this will be 51. Okay. What, tell me what's 51, because I lost my packet and I have to... I just did. handed that to you. No, yes, you gave me one paper, my whole packet of the ones that you placed. Okay. It's here somewhere, but just tell me how. But this is the same one that I just passed over to you. Okay, so it's going to be 51. Okay. 51. You don't have it? No. All right, that's no, the you, one. You, you have it. Well, it's, this it's is, in this pile. Yeah, it's in the pile. This is, we already have <clears throat> what the bylaw committee wants to do is uh, we already have a in effect, yes, from, that's right. Oh, he's from changing it. That's it. November 5th to the 1st, uh, that we can't, from the hours of 11 to 6, that uh, we can't be parking out in the winter months out on the street. Any, and he wants to add any vehicle parked in a violation of this bylaw interfering with the removal of snow and ice may be relocated to another location at the order of the chief of police. The police shall make at least one attempt to contact the owner before removing said vehicle and the cost of the vehicle removed and storage charge. The finish shall be paid by the vehicle owners or owners to the persons or company that perform the removal, blah, blah. Right. Well, I already talked to the chief about this the other day, and he doesn't act, he doesn't approve it. Oh, okay. Right, Karen? Right. Yeah. Because now he but doesn't. Is this the same mm -hmm. one that we just went, that we just, mm -hmm. that you just okay, we're just changing it? That's an updated version, is that what that is? No, we talked, this, we had talked about putting this right. on. And uh, he he so says this, what was his con what was his concern is. about it? He wants to add that the vehicle shall be towed. They shouldn't be left out in the street. And Mike says no. And Mike says he says this is a, he says this is a big city. He says it's a small community. And he says there's still plenty of room on the roads, you know, for, for the plows to get by, and because they just get ticketed anyway. It's a twenty-five dollar ticket. Mike doesn't go for it. No, he didn't go for it. Remember, Karen? He was talking. He came in to talk to us about the other thing. Then I would refer it to the bylaw committee, and they have to refer it to the police chief. Yeah. They need to be one of one voice. Yeah. Okay, so you're not going to put that one on. So you're not going to put that on. You're not going to put that. Okay. So this will, the next one will be. Well, if you could refer it, Karen, to. Back to bylaw yeah. to be. Yeah, we're going to have him talk to yeah. Mike in there. Mike. Okay. Okay, 51. This is another citizen's petition to put on. I'd yeah, also like, I'd also be interested in hearing from the parking hearing officer about how he feels about it. Do you? That's, that's Mike. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought it was well, Mike Blanchard. I thought it was Mike Blanchard. No, no, no. Mike Ferry is. He's okay. the hearing officer. Mike Blanchett was against it, though, too. Mike Sari, well, I don't know if Mike Sari was. It was right. Mike Blanchett Mike that was against it. Her it. So, yeah, we're so Mike Sari's the parking clerk. I don't even know if, if Mike has had even many hearings. We could ask Mike. 
but I don't think, because I used to run the hearings when I was town clerk. No, but there really weren't too many people that objected to these tickets because yeah. they knew they knew the wrong. Mike just had a bad, Mike Blanchard had a, one bad guy through this last one. Yeah. That he basically ignored what was going on. Like we said, for an example, when we talked the other day, like if people are still parked out here on Central Street, there's still put plenty of room for the plow trucks to get to him. And he said even on the side roads too. Yeah. Okay, the next one is another citizen's petition. Yeah, we agree. Yeah, yeah. This is to, um, we'd like to put place lights on the area of the Murray Memorial Bridge from Mill Road. Mill Road? Mill, Mill Street. Mill Street, oh, I called it Mill Road. To Town Farm Road at the entrance of Wagon Wheel and the intersection of Rice Corner and Rice Corner Cross and at the intersection of Gay Road and Rice Corner Road are taken action. That's another one that was put in by Mr. Cook was the originator of this one also. We have to put it on. Yep. A motion to put it on? Yep. Second. Aye. In favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, here we'll see. This must be yours. Oh, okay. Oh, parking. All right. Now, so I'm, I'm yeah, they're the all here. Side. Just number yours, and I'm going to ask you okay. unless you have doubles. This is, 50, this is 51. Okay. And right. this, 51 is a petition. Okay. And we already... I have 52 as... I have 51 as, the, as this one okay. that you didn't put on. Now, this is the one... Is that correct? Didn't we already go over this one? Or, or, so I think we originally voted to put it on. Yes. Okay. But we want to refer it back to you right. Okay, but I want to make sure you have number 51. <coughs> did we just discussed this when we reopened it. Yeah, those are the, the, that, the those are the ones that we reopened. And we just those just get numbers now. Okay, Is these will just get numbers now. So this one will be 52. Yeah. Okay. This is to change, um, what you want to do here? With the height, it's something to do with, um, it's with the, the driveway the, cuts. The driveway Cindy driveway already said we didn't need it, but we'll put it on. Yep, put it on and have Cindy say no. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 So that's 52. Linda, can I just for a second? My numbers are off because I have 50. 51 is the one you decided not to place, but then we refer back to the bylaw committee. That's the one that's the, um, the towing. Okay, which would make 52 the petition. 52 is the petition for lights, correct? No, I have that 51. Well, then let's go back. What do you have for 50? What do you have? You have matched up with me. What do you well, I, I, I quit number. <laughs> I, I have 50. <laughs> because, because if we're going to move them, my, my attitude was, as long as we know which ones, so long as we know which ones we're voting on, on it doesn't matter. Right 50, now. Um, yes, I have 50 for Donald for wages, correct? No, this is the, uh, yeah, this is the way. Okay, so 51 is going to be the one with the plum that you didn't put on. Correct? No, this is, no, no, 51 is going to be the petition, the petition for the lights. That's uh, 51. I have 52. I have, okay. And I was going, we were going to call 52 would be the one that Cindy says is already there. So are we going to put this on? Do we decide? Yeah, we, we said that we were going to put it on and then. Cindy was going to okay. then explain why okay. it should be passed over. Okay. I just want to make sure we don't miss anything okay. that happens. Fine. And then we already voted to put the one for the uh, marijuana on. Yep. And that is 53. And solar is 54. And this will be 54. This is on the solar. And we're going to put that one on. Okay, now we're, didn't we have, we're we going to wait now. Yes, right here. This one, you want to put the last one on. This, this one at the very bottom, transfer the sum of money from Creek Avenue. Yeah. So this would be 55. We, we, do we want to class it, uh, put this one on to have a sum of money from free cash to Linda Stabilization? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And then the, this, and the one that I would probably add, though we don't have the work open currently, technically, is also to do one that's from free cash to um, replace from last year. We need that one on too. I'm sorry. We need one to replace 
Remember the money we took out of Well, if we're, if we're transferring free cash mm -hmm. to stabilization, then we can do that we by, that by trying to set a threshold once we have our numbers of a minimum. Of, I think uh, the number I saw was 116 or $118,000. That we spent there. last year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we, but, don't want but, have, we don't want to have a special one to put that to put that money in because you never know people might not want to uh, agree to put money into stabilization. Well, they might not, but I think that that's part of the discussion on the floor. That whatever amount that we're recommending go back in is yeah, related to, to, in. to yeah, refreshing it okay. and to and to the goals in essence that we're going to be providing from a standpoint of level of stabilization. So the the other one I was going to say is that is that part of the part of the drive I think for the for the tax rate uh, bylaw has to do with the fact that we haven't in recent years at least put an article on to apply some of the free cash to, to lower the tax rate. Um, now, it, honestly, doing that is not necessarily good fiscal practice, especially given the deferring that we've done on capital mm -hmm. movement and the fact that our stabilization is below goal if we're going to go out to the bond market. Um, so I, I'd say that for this year I would only have the one going from free cash to stabilization. Because I know the one that we usually, well, I, I've never seen it actually pass, you know, so much money to lower the tax rate. Right. I don't, I don't remember it being passed at the town meeting. But he wants to have a, a special town meeting to talk to the residents. Do we put that on? Remember? That was not I, I think we did. We did didn't we actually kick that one back. No. We didn't kick the one back. We picked, yeah, we kicked two back then. Okay. Yeah, the ones that you kicked back was the, uh, okay. the bylaw changing, um, change, uh, no parking, add any vehicle park, maybe you yeah. relocated the parking one. And then you also did the, any new fee for town services might be, must be approved by majority vote. We didn't place that one. All right, well, I would like a motion to uh, place this on the town meeting one. Do you have a motion? Second. All in favor, aye. 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 So this is it. So we're all set, and we'll just get some clear. Yep, we'll just get some clarifications on some of these articles, and then we gotta get together with the advisory board on them and decide, you know, where you know different money for the appropriated or what we're gonna do. Okay. All right. Well, I noticed it's been a painfully long meeting already, but I did have a couple things I wanted to bring up real quick. If that's yeah, because okay. I had. I had a uh, one here I talked to her about. Okay, come on. Okay, then we put, put into other. Uh, he wants us to take a vote that we that the highway department will demolish the three buildings on Kimball Street, North Brookfield Road, and South Maple. And uh, he said he would do them. And he said the first one that he would do would be South Maple because he says more things are showing up in there. Yeah. And he says. Uh, when you they cleaned up the campground, you used somebody in where, yep. and they were uh, eight hundred dollars a dumpster. So he would probably get in touch with him again. He said he would demolish them, and he said that would be the first one he'd start with. So he just wanted to vote by us to give him permission to do it. You got my vote. Uh, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so you can tell her he has the permission to do it. Yes, I will. Okay, and okay. All right. Do you have what did you want? Uh, Want to um, just real quick, um, I wanted to briefly revisit the the one private way streetlight because I had not realized that the placement of that streetlight was um, up on Draper Road, which we, is also a, yeah. a, a bus route. We talked to her about that this morning. Oh, did you? And so okay. I guess we're probably going to decide to leave them on. Yeah, I, I did the math on it. I think we're only paying like ten or fifteen dollars a month yeah, for that for that particular yeah. one because it's a lower wattage yeah. one. He anyway. said the one that had suggested that was what's his name? <coughs> it was Clarence. What happened? No. Is, oh, it was uh, no. I thought it was the guy from. Oh um, no, I meant no. What happened is it was Kevin Shaughnessy suggested yeah, yeah. the uh, the survey be taken, and then when we got the emails, I sent it to you, yeah. Clarence, and you suggested we write a letter um, expressing our intent to remove them for the. Um, 
to the homeowners, and then when we did, we got these two complaints, and, and the then complaints basically everyone from, yeah. said, well, I might as well keep them. Yeah, exactly yeah especially if it's a fairly high traffic. And, and we were, yeah, we would talk to Herb about it when he was in two today. He says, why not leave them on? He says, it's not a big expense to run them. No, I, and I think that that's, the question was, what should we do? Mm -hmm. We've studied it. Yeah. What we should do yeah, is leave it. Yeah. Yeah. And that was good. It's a good decision. Okay. So that's what we decided uh, this morning. I was just wondering, is the, did the posting, because I know Karen, in a, in a conversation directly with you, you had said that you were waiting on guidance for a deadline for posting for the treasurer position. Did, did one get the oh, Yes, okay. it's, all, it's all in and it's all, it's all been yep. posted. It's, it's on. I will tell you it's... It's in the Telegram and Gazette, and they have, it's not Monster anymore, I, I forgot the name of what they have, one of those popular... Probably Career Builders. Yeah, something. something like that. Goes with that, and then we all, and it's also going to be in, in the Sunday paper. What, what's the and deadline for the applicants? That is uh, June 4th, okay. is the deadline. And we've already got a few. And we have seven, uh, the seven papers from Stonebridge Press, and we have it on MMA, which is a good one. And we also have it in another municipal website, which Brenda Brenda to put all of his treasure so collectors. Can you keep the resumes as they come in so that we have time? Uh, we only really have two resumes two. so far, and, and we have two. one uh, uh, assistant treasurer in Shrewsbury that sent us an email inquiring about it. Okay. And we had a fellow from Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would um, you like to read this one? Yeah, I can read it if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. if you'd like, that's under carbs. And I promise this is the last one. I've been nominally okay. working with Karen on the uh, Cooley Dam stuff. Um, I did know, does anybody else have any real passion around trying to start to work that, the punch list that came from the engineering company? Oh, I saw company? that. I had a conversation. Mm -hmm. What happened is the guy from, I think I sent everything to yep. you from Ty and Bond. Bottom mm -hmm. line is, it's going to be outrageously expensive to be able to even get it down to uh, from Port Affair yeah. to Port Affair. If you want to fix the whole thing, it's going to be about a million dollars. Right, not, but but we've got to get the inspection done. Right, he, they, they're they're offering to do the inspection mm -hmm. for four thousand dollars. We're gonna I was going to talk to Carrie mm -hmm. to find out where we can get that money from. Okay. Um, and basically, what they're saying is they're recommending. We just removed the dam because he yeah. said it's the same, basically the same price as getting it to fair condition. Even fair condition isn't going to do us, us much good for the future. So his recommendation is that we remove it. So I think we're going to pursue that. I guess I haven't really ran by you guys too much. I just got the information. Okay. Uh, I, the week. I think the primary thing would be let's. Um, do we want to make a motion to request a transfer from the reserve fund for the four thousand for the construction? Oh. Yeah, I guess we might have to I, I was going to I was, was going to make security. a motion even if though we don't have the paperwork in front of us to go ahead and yeah. oh, okay. All right. make a motion to, to yeah, move $4,000 from the reserve fund and then we can put that to the advisory yeah. committee so we have the option. Um, and the Yeah, know, where so I was headed with it with the information that we now have related to that is that we circle back around to the Audubon guys that said that they would write write the grant for the removal. Okay. So that we should circle back to say, yeah. you guys promised this, what's the deal? I know you're straight out. Do you yeah. want to send me the contact information? I don't think I, I, I have. have it. You have. I'll send yes. it to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send it to you. From yeah. Yeah. Audubon, the Audubon contact? Yeah, if you would do that, yeah. that would be great. Absolutely. Yeah. So what will I think about now? Turn it over to them? No. No, just yeah. circle back around because they made a commitment. It looks from the engineer's report, and we'll verify that once mm -hmm. this inspection is done, that, that that is the conclusion. And what was the deadline on the extension? Uh, it's, we got an extension. I think I want to say it was May 27th, which I expressed to Ty and Bond, yeah. the urgency of this. And they didn't mm -hmm. seem to be more or less as yeah. long as I it, guess they know you're yeah. working yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. it's not if be if we contract them to do the inspection, the state will generally yeah, give you a second absolutely. extension. Yeah. And especially where mm -hmm. snow's on the ground, it's not like they could have inspected it in the middle of winter anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that's good. So, do we need to vote on the four thousand. Yeah, to finish voting. Finish that vote. vote. I, I make motion a motion. Is. My motion is to move four thousand, or to recommend that we we uh, pull four thousand from the reserve fund to to fund doing the inspection. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, second piece is that when I was at the advisory committee meeting, not last week, but the week prior to that, they had a concern because. 
the paperwork that was filled out for the library was on an emergency transfer form or like a, an account to account transfer form. Municipal transfer form, I think, wasn't it? Right, but there was no from account indicated on it. So oh. they didn't vote it at that time. So I don't know if if the intent was to pull, and I think we had a discussion around that the intent was to pull that from the yeah. reserve fund, but because yeah. it wasn't annotated on the form, they didn't vote it. Oh. So if we want to vote that as being from a request from the reserve fund, let's go yes. ahead and vote it, but then and and give uh, the chair purview to sign on our behalf, mm -hmm. and then ask Brenda to fill out the yeah. proper form so mm -hmm. that it can go back to advisory. Great. So I'll make a motion that we um, have Brenda resubmit on a on a uh, transfer from reserve fund form, and that we authorize the chair to sign on behalf of the board and support. You have that motion. Second. Uh, now wasn't. <laughs> I hope it's not too late because I remember she said it was kind of an emergency situation that it got done. I think we just have to do it out of this year's funds. Oh, I don't have any problem with doing it at all, but I'm just saying I thought she had to have that money. I don't know, but all I can say is that if we vote it, then they can oh, approve it oh, however yes. it is yeah, and then we can get it, it, is, yeah. get it moving. Oh, I don't have any problem at all, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Do you want to? Let me do the correspondence. Yeah, you can do the correspondence on so, so we have a letter from Kenneth White, who's the chairperson of the Nipmuc Council of the uh, local Indian clan. And on behalf of the Tribal Council, I would like to thank the town of Brookfield for their recent efforts with the archaeological survey at Qua in Quaybar. We have reviewed the report and are pleased that our knowledge of this area matches that of the results of the survey, and that finally the area can be recognized as a significant historical landmark and hopefully be protected for further future damage and de desecration. We look, to, we look forward to working with you in the future and collaborating together to create a long and short-term plans that are sat satisfactory to us all. We also are not concerned about the existing emergency access road that crossed through the burial sites, and we would like to know about the future plans that are in place for the use and restriction of these roads. We certainly do understand the need for emergency access for certain circumstances, but possibly there are alternatives that will allow respectful boundaries for the burial sites. We would be happy to assist the, with this planning and set up an appointment for, uh, for a visit with one of your representatives or attend to one of your regularly scheduled town meetings. Thank you very much for your time and attention in this matter, and we look forward to speaking with you. So, uh, very nice letter. Uh, what I, what, if, with your permission, I would follow up with Kenneth just to indicate that the idea for uh, the campground is to wait to, till fall town meeting to ask for additional funds. Um, the uh, capital improvement uh, has earmarked 15,000 for that request. Uh, what that would be is that would be matching money to state money. Mm -hmm. So it would be actually somewhere around 30,000 30, or less to do some work. And one of the things that would be needed is that we have identified, or Al helped me identify some town-owned land that is in proximity, um, which we may, with the survey, be able to uh, reroute the emergency access from the, what, we're, what, what is staked out today to something different. So not to belabor the sink for tonight. I think we will continue to work with them and we'll go from there. Okay, now we come to the public access. Do we have anybody with public access to see? You know I'd be up there with that. Well, come here while I'm putting public access at the end of the agenda. That's my we, first question. We just decided to try something different. Well, what's the reason behind it? Did it? I get you all worked up at the beginning of the meetings? It's quarter to nine. It's quarter to nine. Yeah. Right. So my, my question is, why do you put it at the end of the meeting? We tried, decided to try something different, that's all. Okay. So that we could get into our regular meeting and get it done. Which we did. Yes, and that's what we did. We got right into the okay. meeting. Okay, not an answer again. Um, I want to get something straight here with my integrity. You challenged my integrity here on April the th April the third. You told me that I um, told you three that I accused you of criminal activity in the town. Do you remember that, Clarence? You accused the town employees yeah. of criminal activity. No, you said at the meeting that I accused you three. That's what you said. 
Was that was on April 30th. But April 3rd, you said that I accused you three of criminal activity in town, which I did not. And I also told you to watch the tape. On April 30th, you said it again. You said that I accused you of... You accused town employees of criminal activity. No, I use, no that's not if what I you said. I said it now twice. I'm not going to say it the third time. You don't have to. It's, uh, that's on tape, too. You accused. You said that you three said that I accused you of criminal activity. It's on tape, Clarence. Can't lie about it. Now, Linda, you said that you watched me on YouTube uh, back on April 30th, and it wasn't even posted on YouTube until six days later. So how could you have watched what I said on YouTube? I don't and you were very adamant about accusing me of accusing you three of saying that I said that you guys were conducting criminal activity. It's all on tape. So I don't appreciate it. I think you three owe, owe me an apology is what I think. Especially you, Clarence. Because you, you st that. well, I know, because yeah, that's just the type of guy that you are. So anyway, that's clear. It's all on the tape, and you can't just keep lying. It's on the tape. You Accused, I will now say for the third time and the last time, yeah. you accused the town employees <clears throat> of criminal activity. Okay, that's not what was said. You know what I said. If you watch the tape, you'll see what you said. Watch the tape, April 3rd and April 30th. Now, my next question here is, I want to know why our fire chief is allowed to live in that fire station over there for the last three months. Did you guys take a vote to give him permission to live there? I already answered that question, David. I'm not going to answer uh, I think the townspeople need to know. Why is he living in our fire station? He's not. He's not living there. He, he, he is living there. He is living there. Okay, he's, he's residing there. He's staying there. He's hanging his hat there. However you want to put it, I but he's there. I explained to you the other day I had talked to the fire chief. No. That don't wash, Linda. That's not the, the fact is he's living there. I just want to know why. I had told why is he living there? I had said to you, if you could, if you would get evidence, why he, then we would act on it. And you haven't come up with any evidence. It's I not my you. job to get evidence, Linda. I'm a citizen. I brought I you, I brought I you something that was taking place in our town. It's you three to look into it, not I me. I talked to the chief already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what's that mean? That means well, what nothing. What we can do is we can adjourn the meeting, and I'll walk over and see if anybody's at the fire station. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's just, that's just a crap crap attitude uh, statement, Clarence. So uh, back again. I Did you guys I take a vote to allow him to live, stay, sleep, whatever you want to call it, in that fire station? Where's he living then? Where's he living? He's living at his residence on Malaska. No, Street. not true. That's rented out to some other folks. We're crossing over, Madam Chairman, and uh, the individual that's being discussed is not present. He's not present. And, I and know. So okay. Before, so, all right then. We'll call. No, we can't. Get him in. Okay, we'll have anything. a public hearing here, or we'll go in an executive session. What do you want to do? He is not here. Okay. So let's. I want. I want you to set me up in an executive session with the fire chief and you three. No. 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 Oh, so you don't want to do that either. Oh, so we're just going to, same old, same old again, just not going to make any decisions. This is our problem. The big problem in our town that everybody is saying out there, a lot of people are saying, is you three are the problem. Because you don't want to act on problems that we have in our town. What gives him the right to live in that firehouse is what I want to know. We can't answer it, because you know what's going on, and you people have no leadership. None. Zero. Not to mention no integrity. Well, maybe what you should have done if you <clears throat> don't, all right. No, that's not my place. I brought it to your attention. No, I wasn't going to say that. No, okay. Right, just end the discussion. Okay, yeah, of course. End it. He's got a soapbox. Yep. Thumbs on. Yep. Go for it, David. Thumbs on. I already, I already made my statements. Well, we, you well, already I'm made. Sure. You, you're already looking well, bad, Clarence. Tell him if he didn't think we're capable of maybe making decisions, that maybe he should have ran for selectman this year. No, no, no. But I'm no, no. That's that's not even brought into the conversation. The question is, you three are the selectmen right now. You three are supposed to be making good decisions for our town, and you're not. I feel we have to make very good decisions for the town. All right, that's it. That's his, all I'm going to say. So okay. Close. He's got okay. the film. Go yeah. for it, David. Yeah, you go for it. Yeah, you, you, you can't keep can't keep saying not the truth, Clarence. It's not going to come true. You can keep saying that. All right, I got a tree. Uh, we're not done with this, and we're not done with the town employees not working their hours and getting paid for it. Okay, that's that's that is a criminal activity. Okay. 8 South Maple Street. I got a town tree. There's a town tree that needs to, it's very dangerous and it needs to be addressed. 
and it is a town tree. Now, is this where is this on your property? No, it's not on my property. It's a town tree, on 8 Maple, South Maple Street. 8 South Maple yeah. Street. Yeah. And I've had a few people mention it to me, and if something happens, they're going to get hurt, or the cars will be damaged. You mentioned that. You want me to mention it to our activity? Yeah, I know you already told us that, that we... Uh, I've used the last of our tree money for the year. Oh, yeah. that's right. Until the, yeah. <coughs> so if it's bad enough, then we may have to look at some sort of transfer. But let's well, get, look into let's it. Look, get yeah, get, a, get, a, get an opinion up there. I just want to bring it to your attention. Now, so South Maple, is that after your property? No, it's going up the hill on the left. I think it's, it's the second tree. It's the second tree on the left going up. Going up the hill? Well, going up not, the hill on the left, yes. Well, that's not South Maple. South Maple. It's on the, I mean, it's it's Draper Street, but it's off of South Maple. It's on a corner, I should have said, it's on a corner of South Maple and Draper. So actually, it's the second tree going up Draper. That's what I meant to say. But the house, I guess what I'm saying is the house is, the house where the tree is in front of is 8 South Maple. That clarifies it. But it's it's facing, it's on the corner, so um, if you could look into that for me. All right, so I still need, so you're gonna get me some answers on these other things too, right? Firehouse, fire chief, employees. And we still have four people working down at the highway department. And that's violating our town bylaws. So I wanna bring that to your attention as well. I don't believe well. it is violating any town It is, Beth, trust me, it is. We, didn't, we don't need four, we don't need four. Oh, there's a difference between your opinion of we don't need four people at the highway barn and are we violating a town bylaw? You are violating, yes. Employment. Yeah. Are we, we coming don't. into the season again where we hire? Sure. Well, you already ran through the winter, you know, I mean, doing nothing with an extra guy there. So, I mean, you might as well just continue on. That's what you're doing. It's violating the bylaw. I just want to know what they're doing for 32 hours per day down there. 32 hours per day. So, Probably do the math. Work. Okay, <clears throat> I will get back to you on these other things and see where you're going on it. All right, and I'm going to request an um, executive session as a citizen on a town employee. Then we will address the situation of why our fire chief is living in the firehouse. All right, and he also put snowflakes in the window because he caught me looking in to see if his fire chief vehicle was there. Two days later, he put snowflakes in the window. So, you can sit there and try to stonewall me, have the, have the public access at the end of the meeting, but I'm not going, I'm not going away. And if it continues, I'm gonna put three, four big signs on Route 9 in this town. Watch me, and you won't be able to stop me, Clements. You and your lies won't work. <clears throat> Good evening. Thank you. I would like to adjourn the meeting at 8.55. You have a motion to adjourn. Second. Any discussion on that? Not at all. All in favor? Aye. Aye.